What is going on guys? My name is AJ and we are here playing The Witcher 3. That's right. Uh, we're going to be checking out um, some mods. It, um, it's not quite Skyrim mod me please, but uh, I'll figure out a cool name for it. Um, but I have been checking on the Nexus forums and there are some amazing mods uh, for The Witcher. And um, the ones I picked today are really just... They help you get through the game a lot easier. So we're going to go ahead and jump in. Um, my last save file is at my first mod. So I will see you as soon as I get there. Okay guys, my first mod here is going to be called... Oh gosh, sorry about the camera movement there. It's going to be called the Gwent Dealer, and I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce the name of this guy. Um, it's actually a cool mod. Uh, this is designed in order uh, to help you guys along uh, that decided, you know, I missed a few Gwent cards. I didn't up my deck. I want to play with the Scoyatel deck, um, but don't, you don't get to do that until a little later a lot later into the game. So uh, this fine young man right here, the innkeep, is going to sell you some um, Gwent cards. It's basically all he sells right now. But uh, he sells literally every card you could possibly want. Um, so there's a lot of stuff uh, to kind of help you get started to play, you know, the monster deck, the Scoyatel deck, or the uh, the Nilfgaardian uh, decks as well. So it's just a cool little mod that kind of helps out when you're, um, you know, you're starting and you want to play uh, some Gwent. I kind of ignored Gwent um, for a while, but anytime it's a quest, I have to do it. So this definitely made things easier um, getting some, some cards. Uh, but you can find this fine young man me say Thanks. farewell. 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 You can find this fine young man right here at the inn at the crossroads. Um, now, the mod creator, uh, I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's Shaman, yeah? Uh, it definitely is a different language than English. So if you're not English speaking, uh, you might get a little confused. Hopefully, you can tell the landmarks. Uh, he did leave in. Um, the crow's perch uh, here so you can tell kind of where to go but uh, he is right here inside the end of the crossroads he is just the innkeeper and he only sells Gwent cards right now that I found so uh, there is that uh, we're gonna go ahead and jump to the second mod which is right in my inventory here uh, this is a mod called uh, over 9,000 weight limit mod by a looks like Geico man I don't know if that's actually correct that might just be my handwriting but you can see up at the top here I'm already at 9,100 pounds or the carry weight that is amazing uh, if you guys are like me I am a hoarder when it comes to this game and I literally pick up everything and I don't know what it is I don't know what it is but it's on the ground obviously I'm supposed to pick it up so uh, that's what I do I have cleared out my inventory prior to installing this mod uh, so it's actually quite tame right now, but normally I have thousands and thousands of items um, So if I can collect it I do and this mod will definitely help with my hoarder tendencies when it comes to video games I mean you never know when some of this stuff's gonna come in handy Okay guys now we're on to my next mod this one is um, is great Again, I'm in the, the menu, but this thing is spectacular. Um, if you guys are like me, I put in over 100 hours in this game. I think it was at 130 or something like that when I finally stopped. started playing some of the DLC. Um, and the one thing I hated the most was traveling from signpost to signpost to be able to, uh, to fast travel. That was really nice, man. You got me spinning while I'm talking? Jeez. Anyways, uh, so traveling signpost to signpost was ridiculous. Uh, so luckily, there is a new mod. Well, it's not really new anymore, but it is amazing. 
and this is called Fast Travel from Anywhere by Jupiter the God. I just felt like it had to be said that way. Uh, literally, you can fast travel from anywhere. I'm, I'm next to a signpost, but uh, here, let's go to the hangman's tree. You normally have to be at the signpost, literally standing right next to it in order to fast travel. But now, you no longer need that, which is amazing. Oh, it's so amazing. I was, uh, I, I'm a big, oh god, I'm a big uh, explorer. I love running around, I love going all over the place. And, um, uh oh, I might get into a fight. Okay, alright, fine. But, alright, anyways, um, so I love, I love running around and obviously killing stuff. Um, but looking for things uh, all over the place. And Roach is, is a great asset. And he makes it a lot easier to get around. Holy crap, those wolves. <laughs> he makes it a lot easier to get around. But it's not a perfect system. I would much rather be able to fast travel, um, especially with a world that is this large and this in depth. I mean, I literally want to try to go to every physical location around the world. All these question marks, I don't like that. I want to find out what they are. Um, and to be honest with you, I think I restarted recently too. I lost my save file. That's kind of sad. But anyways, so I'm, I'm in the middle. I'm in between two find uh, signposts here. So let's, let's see. I, I don't know. Let's go to Seven Cats Inn is fun. That's where you can start your DLC uh, and there you go. I'm fast traveling. It's amazing. It seems like such a simple thing, but sometimes the simplest things are the best. So, there you have it. Um, now, my next mod, uh, I'm going to have to see if I can po uh, procure. Um, I don't know if I have any random armors. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go back and check. I'll be right back, guys. I am back. I found me a merchant. Uh, however, Take care now. they had nothing that I was looking for. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. However, this next mod required a good armor merchant. Uh, and I was able to procure a couple pieces. Now, for those of you who are feeling rather nostalgic. Um, this mod is perfect for you. It is Witcher 2 gear by uh, Hogger96, I would assume. Anyways, it is a good mod. I'm going to say good because it depends on if you like nostalgic things. Uh, it adds Witcher 2 armors to the game. And it even comes with its own uh, unique icon set. But here we go. You guys uh, might recognize this from The Witcher 2. Um, I believe this is one as well. Yes, it is. And this might be... It is. Uh, so it adds some really cool armor from The Witcher 2 into the game. Um, now, the pictures didn't look that great on the uh, Nexus site. But this actually isn't that bad. It looks pretty good, uh, all things considered texture's a little bit not as great as I wanted it to be. It's not as uh, HD or, or um, refined, I guess is the word I'm looking for, um, as, as I want. But uh, it looks really good, and it's good for um, that nostalgic need. Sometimes you just need to wear your old armors that you loved so much from The Witcher 2. Um, and this is definitely a good way to do it. This is one of my favorite uh, armor styles um, from The Witcher 2, and it actually looks it looks much better than the other one. Um, oh, wow, that is that is orange, but I love it. Orange is my favorite color. Uh, so yeah, it's really good. Um, so uh, basically, what this does is it replaces around 80% of the armors, and he gave me it, it says on there the number 80%. So uh, around 80% of your your armors are replaced with uh, nostalgic uh, armors from The Witcher 2. 
So uh, you can expect to see some of these if you pick up this mod. It is definitely uh, worth a grab if you're feeling a little wanting in the armor department and you love the old styles of the uh, Witcher 2, which I did. I, I love the armors, uh, some, in, some more than others. But this one in particular I do love a lot. So uh, that is that is the armor. Uh, that is this mod, Witcher 2 gear. Um, the next one is another armor mod, but it's going to take me a minute to set it up, so I will be back. Okay guys, we are back. Uh, the final mod I'm going to be taking a look at today is going to be a mod called Cat Gear Reworked by a name I'm not going to pronounce. Um, but anyways, it is a decent mod that improves probably the worst looking armor um, that the game made. I, I don't know why they made it this particular way, um, but it does improve it. Now, first things first, I am installed, uh, I don't have the mod installed, so we can take a look at what the armor looks like regularly. You guys might remember this armor. You might. Oh, it's feline gauntlets. And feline trousers. Oh yeah, it's glorious. Just how I remembered. And then you have the blue, which is kind of good. It's uh, it's much better than it was. Um, and let's see. Enhance the boots. And enhance feline. Yeah, all good. Uh, let's see superior. 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 Uh, see, superior. See, we're starting to get better. We're starting to get a little bit better. It's all good. And then the master crafted is this, right? I'm not gonna put the gloves on again. They all look kind of the same. So I'm gonna go ahead and load up uh, the mod. And we're going to see just how much it changes. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. I am back. We're going to take a look at this armor with the mod currently activated. Um, on first glance, I'm going to say it looks a lot the same. Um, I didn't realize it until now. Uh, some stuff has changed, obviously. Um, obviously. Uh, it's, it's a little different right now, but... Um, Kind of see how it how it stacks up as we go ahead uh, go along. Uh, there we go. Okay, so there's that. It's still very much reminiscent of the old armor. So let's check out the enhanced. Now you see the color has changed. Uh, it's a little more rustic. It looks, looks a little bit better. Uh, I don't think the, again that the gloves have changed and the boots have changed at all. Same. I mean, we're finding out right now, guys, together, if anything's really happening. Uh, well, not superior. Ooh, we're getting a little different. Superior boots, getting a little cooler looking. Uh, superior feline. Feline? Feline. Uh, okay, yeah. I'm noticing some color variation. I'm sorry guys, I'm gonna have to say this is a, uh, basically a colored retexture of a crappy suit of armor. Um, yeah, I, I don't notice enough for it to be spectacular. Um, the pictures are really cool that they uh, they, they shot. Um, but honestly, it looks a lot like it did before. The only thing that's cool, and I, I did I do like uh, one where it... I, please. Thank you, inventory. One thing I do like is uh, the recoloring of the feline armor. It looks... 
It looks okay. I mean, I like it better than the blue. But, quite honestly, it's very much the exact same armor. So, I'm glad I didn't expend any resources on this. I do have the debug menu in. This is glorious. Um, but, yeah. That was kind of a letdown. I'm sorry, guys. Not all of them are wins in my book. Uh, I am definitely exploring these mods with you guys. I'm always looking for good armors. Um, there's a fad going on right now on... Uh, the Ursine armor, which is my favorite armor by far, uh, which is stuff I use all the time. Uh, but apparently in the concept art, they uh, had a bear fur around his shoulders instead of that that cloak. Um, quite honestly, I like the cloak, or the, the scarf, whatever you want to car, uh, call it. Um, it, it. It still looks good to me. I mean, it's my favorite of all the armors, so I don't know. It, it is what it is. Um, I'm always looking for good armors, something new, something different, um, and I was really hoping that this cat armor uh, remodel or reworked would uh, would actually look better, um, and really it just ends up being um, little more than a recoloring of the original armor, which is sad, but it's got a lot of endorsements right now, so maybe there's something I am missing. If you guys notice a little bit more uh, of a difference and you do want to check it out, go ahead. The link is in the description. Um, either way, that's going to be it from me for this fine evening, because it is evening when I'm recording it. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed. I will be doing a few more of these videos, trying to see uh, what else is out there. There's a lot of mods, and I'm going to try to help you guys figure out which ones are worth it. Uh, so anyways, guys, if you like this video, go ahead and give me a like. Um, go ahead and tell your friends, your family, anyone. Uh, <laughs> random people on the street. Just see if they want to look at AJ Retro Games. You know. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more from The Witcher 3. I was going to add another name in there. I, I can't think of anything. I'm trying to go off the top of my head. It's not working. So anyways, Witcher 3 mods. Uh, we'll be back. Bye-bye.